Welcome to PC Mac. Today I'll show you how you can set up a free VPN connection on your Windows without using any third party software. We are using the Windows inbuilt feature to set up a VPN connection on our Windows machine. In this video I'll show you both the methods how you can connect to a VPN server using Windows 7 and Windows 10 as well. So let's do it. I'm using Windows 7 here so what we need to do is we need to first of all go to the bottom right corner and then right click here on the network connections and open network and sharing center once we open it you can see here set up a new connection or network so we're going to click on it and then it will take us to this option where we can see the four options here so this is connect to the internet set up a new network we need to select the third option connect to a workplace let's click on next then we need to click on use my internet connection as VPN so let's click on it and now it required a internet address and a destination name so for the internet address we will use a website that is vpngate.net so this is the website now you need to go down and we have to use this option MS SSTP Windows Vista 7 8 RT no client required so we will use this option let's begin with the first country that is Korea Republic of Korea and the file host name is right here that is the address for our VPN server let's uh, select this address from here and copy this and paste this address here in this box and then let's type the name to Republic of Korea so we can easily identify to which server we are connected so I named it as a Republic of Korea so just click on next now there is no password for these configuration the username will be VPN so keep that thing in your mind that the username is VPN so let's click on connect and as you can see it's trying to connect to Republic of Korea and it's almost done so it's done let's click on close and open Mozilla Firefox to check what's my location now as you can see it's showing us the location right here and the name is right here I'm unable to spell it so in my previous video lots of people ask about that they are not able to connect to the network or they are facing some issues with it like it asking for the password or the pin number so you can use these settings to connect to a VPN server easily now we will take one more country to show you the another configuration so let's go ahead and open the configuration for Japan let's take it from here and copy it before doing any other configuration first of all we need to disconnect the connection as you can see it's connected let's click on here and disconnect and then again go to the network settings create a new connection and connect to a workplace then next and no create a new connection next and then put it here and name it as Japan next the username is VPN password is empty and let's just try to connect it's connected now let's go ahead and close it close it from here as well let's check on the bottom right corner we are connected to Japan so by doing these steps you can easily connect lots of country VPN servers here and you can easily connect to them now as we are connected to Japan let's just check what's my location and once I'll do that it will take us to a different location altogether now as you can see the location let's just open the website to show you the correct location the my location website so as you can see we are connected to country Japan and the region is Hiroshima so we are successfully connected let me just go ahead and close it close this one as well and disconnect from this VPN so you can connect as many server as you want 
now I will take you to my Windows 10 computer and show you how you can uh, connect to a VPN server using the inbuilt Windows utility now I am on my Windows 10 computer the method will be same and we need to first of all go ahead again on the bottom right corner and then open network and internet settings from here and you can find a tab here on the left side of the screen with the name VPN and then we need to click on add a VPN connection from here now you can see all the information here so here is a drop down menu as well so we need to select windows built-in then the connection name so we need to open the website first of all the connection name will be anything that you want but it's better if you type the name of the country then you can easily identify to which country you are connected so let's just open it again and go to the bottom so I have shown you two countries then let's try to connect to Venezuela copy the host name now we need to paste this name in server name right here and then the connection name let's just copy Venezuela from here and paste it here and the username is default VPN and there is no password so let's just save it now it's save right here so to connect to Venezuela what we need to do is click here and you will see the connection name on the top let's just go and click on connect click on it and connect and it's asking for the name again let's type VPN OK and it will be connected in a moment and completing the connection it's connected now so you will see no internet and then it's connected again now what we'll need to do is just open the edge and check the location again and as you can see the location is right here Valencia Carabobo Venezuela so that's the location right here let's try to show you one more location because lots of people complaining about the website that they are not able to connect to the websites so that's why I'm just showing you the four other countries so let's try to connect to Korea copy it and let's create another connection Windows built-in Korea server name let's just save it and first of all disconnect from the other network that is the Venezuela and then again connect to Korea let's wait until the Venezuela disconnected it's disconnected completely let's click on connect to connect to Korea and the default username is VPN and let's go back to edge and search for the location one more time and as you can see the name is right here North I'm not able to spell this it's in South Korea you can see that so this is the method how you can connect using the Windows built-in VPN connection to a VPN server around the world and if you're facing any problem connecting to these VPN servers you can write down your problems in the comment section I'll try to answer them and I'll leave a link of the detailed document in the description box so you can find out all the details in the description box and if you like this video please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so I can go ahead and make these kind of videos for you all guys so thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.